Hello everybody, thank you for joining my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Um, today, I'm going to talk about um, what happens with CFS or chronic fatigue syndrome in relation to fibromyalgia. Um, a lot of the times, or most of the times I find, is that people with uh, specifically with uh, fibromyalgia tend to uh, have some form of um, fatigue uh, associated with their fibromyalgia. They're either struggling with fatigue or uh, they're uh, co-diagnosed with CFS um, in conjunction with fibromyalgia. And these symptoms of CFS specifically with fibromyalgia include headaches, they're stronger in intensity and duration or duration, um, short-term memory issues, cognitive disarray, concentration issues. Um, the next two I uh, highlighted as areas where um, I struggle with personally with uh, f with my my issues, which is joint pain with no visible inflammation. And then also pain associated with your muscle muscles or musculoskeletal system. Um, so again, a lot of the times wake up in the morning, pain is off the hook. Usually my shoulders and my thoracic mid back. Um, also, there's sensitive lymph nodes specifically in the neck region, sore throat experiencing fatigue right after exercising that continues past 24 hours in duration and no matter how much you sleep you don't feel alert at all um, which i find a lot of people struggle with uh, again uh, one of the issues uh, that people mistake and um, especially if you get uh, uh, sent to a physiologist you're gonna um experience um you may experience a suggestion that you get a cortisone shot in your neck especially you know your c5 c6 c6 to 7 wherever they feel uh they see uh you could even have like let's say you have uh you have uh, um arthritis in one of your cervical uh spine area regions and they say well it's minor but since it's causing you a lot of pain because you remember the fibromyalgia is heightening this pain because of your central nervous system um it feels